Okay, we're supposed to have started at 8.30. It's fine. We got another hour. Um, so, introduction. Okay, so list as many words you have learned in the previous lesson. Uh, just now, we just did our previous lesson. What would your... Um, what were other words? I'm sure more than one word. Just list it down, uh, the words that you have learned in lesson 62. Yes, cool, exhilarating, ordeal. Sorry, I'm drinking water. Okay, um, ordeal, right. Okay, I see. Yes, ordeal, cool, wonderful. Right, Xiaomin, like it. Yes, I like your answer. All right, Sharani, exhausted. Yes, okay, good. Where am I now? All right. Okay, then you have... The objective for this lesson is by the end of the lesson. Yes, yes. Uh, Yi Wun, yes, exhausted. And uh, Swetman, ordeal. Identify the main points in the text. Now you have to identify main points in the text. Survival in the Andes by choosing the correct answers in five multiple choice questions to show understanding. And then you have to use a dictionary to check meaning of six words or phrases in order to complete six sentences. You are at home. So you have dictionary. Make sure you have your dictionary with you, beside you, uh, when we are doing uh, one of the activities. Right? You can use your dictionary. Uh, that's the beauty of being at home. Everything is at home. You can get it. Right? So your success criteria, underline keywords is the same thing always when we look for main points or specific information. Uh, underline keywords in the question and answer. Underline keywords in the text that have similar meanings to the question and answer. Answer question one to five based on the keywords underlined. And the last one, use a dictionary to check meaning of words. And then use that words to complete six sentences. Textbook page 85, which is activity C. Read the exam close up. Then read the exam task and underline the keywords. That is exactly the uh, instruction in activity C. So, um, first of all, the exam task. This is the exam, ta uh, sorry, exam close-up. Okay, exam close-up. Reading for general understanding. How do you read for a general understanding? This is on page 85 under exam, in, uh, in exam close-up. It's a good idea to get a general understanding of the message of the text before you complete the exam task. So just you remember in lesson 62, we already went through the text. We already gone through first paragraph until the last paragraph. We look at what has happened. So it's good to get a general understanding of the message of the text before you do your exam task, which is answer comprehension question. Read the text carefully from beginning to end without worrying about new vocabulary. All of you need to not worry about words that you don't understand. Because when you just read from beginning to end, you will just get an idea what the text is about, right? Then you go back to each paragraph and make notes about the main idea in each one. So you look at each paragraph at the side of each paragraph or in a different paper, you write paragraph one, the main idea of that paragraph is what? So you get a general understanding. Then Take some time to think about all the ideas in the text before you start your exam task. So this will help you to find, uh, this will help you to identify where to get the answers. I, I'm telling, this is very important because you will use the same strategy in Form 4 and then Form 5 SPM. Same. This will help you no matter what the exam question is for reading, whether it's information gap, whether it's uh, information transfer, it's all the same, okay? So this is exam close-up, which I already told you on page 85. Now, now you have to read the exam task. The exam task say read the text and questions below. For each question, choose the correct letter A, B, C, or D, okay? So far, no question, huh? If you've got a question, raise your hand. If no, just write in the chat. Okay. First of all, you have to underline the keywords here. Read the exam task and underline the keywords. What is the writer doing in this text? 
A, giving advice on how to survive. B, explaining incredible past events. C, showing the air travel is dangerous. And D, writing an imaginative story. So what are the keywords that are important in this uh, question and answers? Anyone? Share in the chat by writing down the keywords. Those who have followed my YouTube lesson, you know how this works. You just write down all the keywords that's in the question one. The writer doing. Okay, right. Kuratu say writer doing. Okay, so you, you that's your keyword. Anyone else? That is in the question, right? What about the answers, the options? The same. What is the same, Kistina? The writer doing in this text. Okay, that's what Sabrina say. That's the question. What about the option answers? What are important? Advice, survive. Good. Xiaomin, Kuratu, giving advice, survive. Good. Any more? Yes, Sharina, giving advice, survive. Advice, yes, Darmina. Samo? Explaining past events. Good. Right. Yes, good, Sharini. Past events. Writer doing that would be the question. Yes, Kistina. Okay, any more? Mahasri, advice, survive. Kuratu. Showing air travel dangerous. All right, Sharini also said showing air travel. Air travel is dangerous. Yao mean good. Sabrina, showing air travel dangerous. Kistina, incredible past. Okay. Uh, where? Everybody's going so fast. I need to choose. Fine, where am I now? Okay. Uh, Tarvina, showing air travel dangerous. Incredible past. Writing imagin imaginative story. Yes, Kuratu. You won't air travel dangerous. Yao mean imaginative story. Sharinya, imaginate, writing imaginative story. Mahasri, incredible past events. Yes. Darwina, writing imaginative story. Okay. So for those of you who have, you know, I know you all don't watch the YouTube and all that. So basically, these are the keywords. Okay. What doing? Yeah, writer is important also. What writer doing? Giving advice, survive. Explaining past events, showing air travel, dangerous, writing, story. Usually story are imaginative. There are no stories that are not imaginative. All right. Okay. Now you already have underlined your keywords. You already know these are the keywords. So what you do is the answer will be in the first paragraph. So look at the first paragraph. Okay. What do you think the writer is doing? Okay, what was the writer doing? Was the writer giving advice on how to survive? Was the writer explaining past events? Was he showing that air travel is dangerous or was he writing a story? First of all, you know this is not a story, right? This is a real life event. So definitely D is out. So you only left A, B or C. So you have Tarvina saying A, uh, Charani saying B, Mahasri saying B, okay, right? Okay, if you say B, please tell me why is it B, why is it not A? Why? Why is it B, not A, not uh, uh, Sharinya saying is C. Okay, Sharinya says C, showing that air travel is dangerous. Okay, Sharinya says sorry, it's not C, okay. So if you feel it's B, not A, not C, D, we already know it's out, why? Why? He's explaining what had happened. Yes, Charani. He is explaining what had happened. All right. So it's B. He was just explaining the story. He didn't give advice. He didn't show air travel is dangerous. He's just reporting the story, explaining what happened. Right? Okay, so the answer is B, right? Okay, let's look at the next question. Question two, why were the three men disappointed? 
Okay, read that and then key in. Yes, Mahasri, writer didn't give advice because it's breaking news. Yes. Right, so now I want you to look at question two and you let me know what are the keywords for the question and answers. Okay, just write well, how like Sharinia wrote. Okay, why three men disappointed? Okay, what about the options? Right, Tarvina, the view not very good. Okay, view was not good. Yes, Charini, Sharinia, view is mountain for mountain not good. Yes, why Danny all very quiet? I didn't see Danny answering, Hadith. Okay, what about the rest? Fong, Xiaomin, Yiwun, right? Yeah, okay. Right, so you got didn't know written plaint. Didn't know how to return plane. View from mountain, not good. Realize had problems. Yes, anymore? Didn't know, return home. Yes, Hadif. Right. Yes, realize had more problems. Yes, Yao Min. Not brought warm clothes. Yes, not enough for, yeah, all right. Anymore? Anymore? You need to... Uh, be able to do this because during exam time, you're on your own. Okay, not brought enough, not enough warm clothes. Yeah. Okay, let's look. Okay, so why men disappointed? Okay, uh, the three men didn't talk about the three men because we know there are three men. Okay, view not good. Didn't know how return plane. I realized got more problems and not brought enough warm clothes. Okay, so which paragraph you think the answer would be in? Why were the three men disappointed? We Do you think it's in paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, paragraph four, five, six, or the last paragraph? You let me know. Which paragraph would the answer be about the disappointment of these three men? Paragraph two, Kuratu say is in paragraph two. Xiaomin say is in paragraph three. Let's look. It is in paragraph three. Okay, paragraph three. When you talk about the three men, okay. So, okay, good. Now tell me which sentence give you the answer based on this one. Based on the question, what sentence give you the answer? Sentence eight and nine. I don't know where sentence eight and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so lots of them. They weren't near the end of the mountains. They were in the middle of them. What could they do now? Okay, so sentences eight and nine. Right? Uh, that's what Tarmina say. I don't know about the rest. Maybe you can use line, line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 lines. Which lines give you the answer for question number 2? Are all of you having your textbook with all of you? Yes, Sharinia, paragraph three, what could they do now? Yes, what could they do now? Okay, all of you got your textbook. Okay, good. Line seven and eight, instead of the valley, they saw, yes, Kuratu, instead of a valley where they think that they can get help, they saw more of the same snowy peaks. Right. So, 
What would the best answer be then? A, B, C, or D? Okay, so Xiaomin says C. Charani says C. Everyone seems to be saying C. Hadi saying C. Danny, what happened? Right, Mahasri C. Good. Izaro, good. Danny C. Yes, you are all correct. They realize they have more problems. Instead of, you know, getting to see the valley, they are more snowy peaks. So they are very deep inside or high up the Andes Mountain. Okay. Question number four. Yes, Christina. Read the type. Okay, question number three. Vizinton returned to the crash site because Vizinton was following Parado and I cannot remember the other guy's name. Uh, three of them went, but then he returned to the crash site because of what? All right. So good. Charinia has started giving the keywords. Vizinton returned crash site. Correct. Kuratu returned crash site. Good. Yes, lost hope. Yes, Tarvina, lost hope. He returned crash site, he lost hope. What else? Yes, Fong, lost hope. Visitor return crash. Didn't agree with Parado. Yes, disagree with Parado solution. Good, Xiaomin. Yes, Kuratu, good. Didn't agree with Parado's solution. All right. Yes, Hadif, good. Yeah, right. Charani. Yes, Fong, good. Yes, good, Mahasri. Yes, Yaomin, very good. Yes, Sharinia, very good. Yes, excellent. Yes, right. What about the rest? The same people are learning. What about the rest? Just watching. Actually, excellent. Everyone wasn't enough food. Let's look. What did I underline? So, Visington returned crash site because one, he lost hope. Second, didn't agree Parado solution. Yes, Mahasri, very good. Didn't want to walk further. He feels so lazy. I, I don't want to work further. And the last one wasn't enough food for three people. Okay, so we do not know what's the answer yet, but you need to let me know which paragraph has the answer. Yes, mastery wasn't enough food. Yeah. Okay, Xiaomin say it's in paragraph four. Okay, what about the rest? Is it in paragraph four? Like what Xiaomin says. Okay, Tarvina says it's also in paragraph four. Danny says in paragraph four. Good, Danny. Okay. So it is in fourth paragraph. Sorry, the red line was from the previous lesson. Eh? So it doesn't mean the answers are there. Yes, good, Sharvindra. Paragraph four. So which line? Ah, Mahasri, very good. Line four, paragraph four, line four. What happened to Mitisha? Mitisha is so quiet. I've not heard Mitisha say a word. Uh, one, two, three, four. But to reach the peak, they would need to walk for more days and they didn't have enough food. Okay. Right. Parado could return to the... Visington could return to the plane. Okay. Line four, didn't have enough food. Okay. Didn't have enough food is not line four. I mean, I look at my line. Don't look at your book line. My line here is one, two, three, four, five... So line five would have didn't have enough food. Okay. Right. Didn't have enough food. Nine, five, six. And Vanessa would take his food. Yeah, Vanessa would take a food. Now we've got a new character in the story named Vanessa Sharanya. Okay. Right. Kanesa. Not Vanessa. Kanesa. It's okay, Sharanya. I'm just making fun. It's so funny. So I'm just, just yeah, I know. I know. I know, I know about Google Keyboard, how they are, they correct, they just do auto-correct. So it's fine. It's fine. Okay, right. So what would the best answer be then? If you feel that's the answer, what would the answer be then? A, B, C, or D? So we have everyone getting D, 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 donkey. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, everyone. Yes. You are right. 
Now, why why do I make all of you do so hard work? Find key, find uh, the keywords. Find because when it's easy, you find that you my last name what name. But don't because when the question becomes harder, this strategy of identifying keywords would help you. All right, get the best answer. That's the reason you need to do that. All right. Okay. Let's look at question four. Arado and oh, I already give you that. I already underlined for you. Okay. Right, Parado and Kanisa knew they were close to safety, so the keywords, right? Yes, correct. Parado and Kanisa knew close to safety. The keywords would be A, saw things belong people, B, discovered river, C, been walking 10 days, and D, flowers in snow. So how do they know that they are close to safety? Okay, so these are the four options, right? So I already given, I already shown the, the keyword, so we are not going to do that uh, because I pressed too fast my hand. What paragraph would the answer be in? Uh, this is going to be a trick question for all of you because I know what kind of answers you're going to give. What paragraph you think the answer would be in? Okay, Sharinia says paragraph six. What about the rest? I like Hadith. Paragraph five? Not sure, right? Paragraph five is a question. Tarvina say got two paragraphs, five and six. So many of you chose paragraph five and some say paragraph five and six. Okay, now let's look at paragraph five and paragraph six. You are both correct, but let's look at paragraph five. Okay, paragraph five and six. As they walked, the area around them slowly began to change. The men discovered a small river. The sun was warmer. After a few days of walking, the snow had disappeared completely and the flowers were everywhere. This is the valley, Kanesa said excitedly. This is the way out. Okay. Paragraph six. Soon they saw a few cans on the ground and some farm animals in the field. They knew there must be some people nearby. Right. So on December 21st, after 10 days, they reached. So which paragraph would give you the correct answer? Right. And which would be the answer? Uh, something for you to think. All right, Sharina said in paragraph six, Tarvina said number four is A. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what Tarvina says. Sharina said because the answer is in paragraph six. Sharina also said A for number four. What about the rest of you? Mahasri says paragraph six, line two, them, they knew there must be people, right? But Kistina says it's B. Hadith says it's A, Danny says it's A, Sharvinda says it's A, Mahasri says it's A. Is Mitisha in class or not? Mitisha has no answer. Izaro says A, Sweetman says A, Uratu also says A, but there's one student saying B. They discovered a river and they saw things that belong to people. So the answer is A, they saw things that belong to people. When they saw the cans and the farm animals, they knew that people were nearby. All right? Mitisha is lost. She's not in class, huh, Mitisha. Uh, she, was, she came to class and then she disappeared. All right. So Mitisha has disappeared. Right. Let me take attendance again. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's continue. Number five. Ah, number five, very long. Please put in what are the keywords for number five?
Okay, so we have um, yeah, my house read on for question number four. They saw farm animals. I agree with you. Xiaomin, yes. So you have um, best describe what happened people on flight 571. Kuratu, describe what happened people on flight 571. Hadith, what happened to the people? Mahasri, describe what happened to the people on flight 571. Happened people on flight 71. Sharinya goes into answer for A. Su survivors waited for someone to rescue, right? Anymore? What are the other keywords for A, B, C, D? Why suddenly everybody's so quiet? Okay, survivors waited for someone rescue them some more. 29 people died when the plane crashed. Mountains, Andes. 29 people died, all right. 29 people died, yes. Right. So you have terrible situation, no hope found at all. 29 people died, crashed into mountains. Okay, Xiaomin. Right, Rat 2. So this would be the keywords, okay? Survivors waited many weeks for someone to find rescue them. 29 people died. Okay, terrible situation, no hope. Survivors found a way to save themselves. And stay warm, war, clo war clothes, people died. So they wore clothes, people who died to stay warm. All right, what would be the, where, which paragraph would give you the answers? Actually, it's everywhere. At least everywhere. Okay, right, but which one of all the paragraph you read, which one would best describes, this one is the overall main idea, happened to the people on flight 571, the last one, okay, uh, which I chose the second paragraph. I don't know why I chose second paragraph, something is wrong with me, okay, right. It's not, it's not the second paragraph. It's not the second paragraph, okay? It's not. Like you say, it is the last paragraph that say what has happened to them, right? The last paragraph. And paragraph one. Yes, Charinia, it's paragraph one and seven would be the best to tell you what happened to people on flight 571. Paragraph one and paragraph seven. Last paragraph. So, okay. What would be the best answer then? Okay, Mahasri says C, 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 C. Danny says C. Everyone seems to say C. Okay, all right, C. Okay, C. Mm -hmm. Okay, can, can, yes. Long time, huh? I didn't hear. Okay, all of you are right. It is C. In a terrible situation and no hope, survivors found a way to save themselves. So that is the best answer. Good job, everyone. Fantastic. You all did fabulously very well. Okay. Now, these are the six words that you need to find out from the dictionary. The meaning of the words. Cope with. Go and get your dictionary. If you don't have a dictionary, use your online dictionary to tell me what is the meaning of the phrase cope with. If you think you know, you just key in. Are you all having a dictionary with your with you? Are you having? All right. Okay, yes, good. So to cope with is to adapt 
to something or situation. Okay, yes, Char Charani, when you want to cope with something, you adapt, you manage. Yes, Darwina, manage with something. Right. Anyone else? Others all easy to open dictionary. You can just do the easy online dictionary, type cope with, and then you get all the answer. Right, manage with. Mm -hmm. Actually, you have to use a dictionary because the dictionary is a skill by themselves. You know how to use it. What about search? Search. What does search mean? To find something. Yeah, search is to look for something, to find something, right? To locate, right? To locate, try to find, try to find something, not finding, yeah, find something, to find something, yeah. Okay. Survive. Survive. Oh, got answer down there. I have to go down. Okay, Hadif, search. Try to find something by looking or otherwise seeking carefully and thoroughly. Yes, very good. Okay, that's a dictionary meaning. Okay, survive is to stay alive in an extreme situation. Okay, good. Anyone else? Stay alive in extreme situation. Continue to live. Yes, continue to live or exist. Yes, right. Survive, continue to live or exist in spite of an accident. Correct. What about safe? I think safe is very easy. What is safe? There's a difference between S-A-F-E safe and S-A-V-E safe. Right, Tarwina, continue to live or exist. Okay, Christina. Survive, manage to keep going in difficult. Safe is to rescue, right, Tarvina? Store up. Mm. Okay, right. Any more? Safe? Hadif says that safe keeps safe or rescue someone from harm or danger. All right. Crash. Survive, the state of life or exist. Right, crash, cause a vehicle to collide violently with something, causing something to collide violently with something, yes. All right, okay, what else? Doesn't have to be a vehicle too, it can be two human beings crash into them, each other. I crashed into Tarvina while I was walking out of the classroom. I, I collided with someone else, okay? Right, any more crash? What about reach? Everyone Google dictionary, yes, everyone's Google dictionary. What about reach? Reach, arrive, yes, arrive, get as far as, good, good. All right, wonderful, awesome. Now, you know the meaning of the word? You fill up the blank. You will the car if you don't know how to drive it properly. What would the answer be for number one? You will... Darwina, reach means stretch out an arm in specified direction in order to touch or grasp something arrive. Uh, it's okay, Kurato, let your, your Google, Google brain works. Crash, okay. So number one, Sharina say crash, Xiaomin say crash, Darwina say crash. Everyone seems to say it's crash. So yes, crash. Okay, number two, it is possible to Okay, very fast. Everyone giving answer, survive. All right. I don't know whether it's correct. Okay, very good, everyone. Excellent work. So you got, I will survive. Possible if you know how to find food. Wow, very fast. I know to go number three. You're all giving me number three. There are many problems and Harry didn't. So I have everyone giving me cope with, cope with, cope with. Tarina, safe. Oh, not yet. Three. Cope with, suddenly go number four. Sabah, this is not a competition. Relax, relax. I'm not giving prizes, okay? They were in the middle of the desert, so nobody could. Ha, reach them. Ha, ha, number four. See, number four. I want to see what's number four. Save them, okay? I don't even go number four. You all oh, got too fast, man. Slow down, slow down. I'm too old. I'm too old to follow your pace. After we, yes, reach the river, we'll rest. Okay, and then the last one would be search. Okay, good, right. 
Wonderful. We continue to search for the missing mountain climbers. Excellent. Right. Thank you, everyone. Wonderful. Now, what you need to go is go back to your Google Classroom and look at the task that I've given you, okay? Activity E. Write some more sentences in your notebook using the words in D. So, I'm not asking you to do that. I want you to do it in the chat room, in the chat here, okay? Okay, choose one word. Choose one of the word or phrases and key in the chat a sentence using that word because you already go through the dictionary, you already did the filling in the blank, so it means you know how to use the word. Choose one, each of you. There are 17 of you. I want to see 17 sentences. It can be any words that you've decided to choose. All right, we have Charani, the first person who has submitted. Alif was searching for his car keys when he, that he misplaced. Okay. Um, mm, all right, I was hoping that you use the same word without changing the form of the word by accept it. Uh, Charani, searching. If you can find a, word, a sentence, just use the word search. It's much better. All right. Okay, Xiaomin, very good. You are looking at search. I'm going to search some information to prepare for the presentation. Very good. Tarvina, she definitely didn't know how to survive in the forest. Very good. Three students have submitted. Hadif, I cannot reach the book on top of the shelf because it's too high. Very good. Number four, five, person number five, Sharinya, it must be difficult to cope with some with small children. Children know as. Good. Number six, Izaro. No one survived in the plane crash. Very good. Next, Guratu. Number seven, the boys who the boys who have lost uh, in the middle of the ocean had survived. Good. Eight, Sharvinda. He earned just enough for his family to survive. Very good. Mahasri, we have to search the book before teacher entered the class. Very good. Continue. Yes. Lily search information. Lily search for information to complete the project. Spelling of project. Uh, Swatman should be in English. All right. Okay. Uh, Charini is giving a new sentence. Good. Danny, I will save my money to buy an activity book. Very good. There are some more, few more people who have not done. Christina, okay, cannot survive. Good. I was trying to save money. Good. Any more? Any more? Okay. Right. Yes, Mitisha, we have to learn the cooking skill to survive in our life. Right. Welcome back, Mitisha. Okay. Right, thank you everyone for an excellent thing. Everyone seems to have submitted their sentence. Go back to your homework, complete activity C and D using Google Form provided in Google Classroom. Now, listen everyone, I made your life easy. Instead of writing in your exercise book, please complete it using the Google Form uh, in the Google Classroom. It's much easier. You just click, click, click the answer. All right, so less paperwork for you. If I can help you by doing that, that's what I do. If no, you have to write. So don't forget, you have to do... Okay, Mastery, if you have finished, fine. Those of you who have not done, please do it. There are uh, two assignments that I've given you uh, for your classwork, which is Lesson 61. And Lesson 62 and 3 are in one um, assignment by itself. So that would be your... Uh, where am I? Your task, all right, uh, that you need to do until I see you. Wait, uh, I'm, I'm lost. Hold on. Uh, until I see you uh, next Thursday. Okay, those who have finished good. Next Thursday, our class again at 7.30 until uh, we are told that you all can come back to school. So come, please, 7.30 in the morning. I know you all are not used to getting up early, but please come to class so that we can... Um, what? 
uh, have our class and you should know me by now I teach. I do not just give work and not teach. I do teach and I hope it will help you be better in your language.